Good morning. Today we're going to be looking at how we can actually use a USB device to connect to and hook an App Inventor app into our, um, our tablets. So I've got a tablet right here. Um, one of the first things you want to see is that when you plug in, you do have to make sure you allow debugging for that to happen, for this to work properly. As you can see, it's asking for me if it's okay to use the debugger. And I'll just go ahead and click Always Connect This Computer and say OK. And if you haven't already done so, you can get the developer options for Android by going down to the About tablet. And in the About tablet, you want to find the build number. You want to tap on that repeatedly until it says that it's okay to become a developer. Right now, as you can see, I'm already a developer, so it doesn't ask me for it. And I just go over here, go to my developer options, and then I choose to enable any USB debugging. Because I want to make sure I have a good USB connection, and I have to make sure it's okay to use it. But that's the first part we have to do. So I have to use the tablet for that. No big deal. As you can see, we're over here in App Inventor. We have an app that I've made. It's got some blocks and stuff attached to it. This is one of the ones I made for a conference that I taught earlier this summer. And if the color button is clicked, I'm going to randomly change the color between this range of values right here for the background color. Great and wonderful. If it's yellow, do that. Otherwise, I'm going to set it back to yellow. Let's go ahead and have that ready to go. And we are going to go ahead and we go back to our designer window. And I've got my app right here. It's great. It's wonderful. But if I go look at my tablet, let me go ahead and click on home, go to my apps right here. And I look at my little tablet right here. I don't have a app that is called LAX CSP, or if I have right here on screen one, I have my app name, LAX CSP, and we'll, help, we'll call this the LAX app. And I don't have that on here. It's, it's clearly not listed on this app, but I want to put it on here. And to make the connection with this using um, the USB connection, I have to make some stuff happen. So to do so, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the tab over here, and we're going to look at App Inventor. Here's the main website. We go to the resources section, and we go down here to get started. And we choose the setup instructions, option one. And then right here, we have the USB connection right here. So we can make the Android a device. We can use the emulator to hook this up. And we need to get the software from this to make it so it can talk to it and use it connectly. We do have this USB cable right here. That's for using the companion. But that's not what we're talking about. We actually want to install the app right here on our device. So we want to go through and use the Android device. And of course, I'm on a Mac, so I go to Mac OS X, and I download the installer. And I step through and follow those instructions. And what that does is it installs the basic software we need to make it so we can actually use the Android connection, the ADB connection between the device I'm working with and my tablet. And so that way I can actually talk back and forth between this. So I run through the download, do the install, no big deal, easy to follow. You've done it before. We're good. So we go ahead, we go back over to our app, and what I want to do is I want to go down to my build section. And in my build section, I want to choose the option to save the APK to my computer. So I want to make sure I'm saving this, it's going to work with the Clara, that's okay, it doesn't matter. But it can't publish in the Google Play Store. That's a new little update. If you want to make sure it goes to a place where you have to confirm it in a different way, eh, no worries. Okay, say okay. And down here at the bottom of the screen, we get a lovely little download of like my LXCSB progress bar. It's downloading right now. This is going to go down to 100%. I'm going to go to my downloads folder right here. And so I'm in downloads and I have my LAXCSP APK. Remember again that an APK file is the install file that we use on all Android devices. Now, I could just email this file out, but I want to show you how we can actually install it right here on the device so we can make that connection. It's a good way to practice using the command line as well as how we can actually make sure we have a good connection between this uh, computer we're working with and our tablet. So when we do more advanced uh, work with our device, we can actually verify and troubleshoot things as well. So as you can see, again, we don't have that installed right here. It's not on there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to open the terminal window. And so I'm going to go over here and just go to terminal. And I am at my default terminal window. And I need to be able to talk to that device. And so the way I'm going to talk to this, I have to use a program called ADB. And ADB gets installed inside the App Inventor folder. So I'm going to type in CD space, and then slash to go to the root folder, and then applications, and tab in, and I'm in there. I'm in the applications folder, and then CD space again. And we're going to go to App Inventor. And inside App Inventor, we're looking for a folder called commands for App Inventor. So CD commands. And inside the commands for App Inventor folder, the program we're looking for is ADB, the Android Device Bridge. And that allows us to make the connection between the tablet and the machine. Yay! So to do so, again, because we're in Linux land, we're going to talk that with the dot slash. If you're over on a Windows box, you just run ADB space. But other than that, it works the same basic approach. And then I na name of the program, so ADB. And then I need to see what devices are installed. So I want to check to make sure it's installed and connected. Now, I've already plugged it in, so it should be seen. And you saw that it asked if it was OK to trust the computer. But just in case it hasn't seen it, we do this when we hit Enter at this point. And as you can see right here, there is this lovely device with a code right here. And that's called device. Oh, sweet. So I'm, I'm plugged in. It sees this. We're good to go. The next step we need to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to tell it that we want to install that file. So to do so, I type in dot slash again and ADB. And now I give it the um, argument of install. 
And we want to make sure we can always install this. So I'm going to use the, um, the flag dash R, which will reinstall any app that's already on there. Because I want to actually, if it's already there, I'm going to reinstall it because I'm, this is the fresh version. I want to make sure I have the update version of my app. So dash R to do that. And then I type in the path where that file is saved. So I have my tilde slash. So I'm going to go to my home folder and then my downloads directory. And then I'm going to use the L name of the APK so it's installed. And so right here, as you can see again, in the L section right here, I go Hangouts, Maps, MIT, App Companion, News. Clearly no L listed right there. And I'm going to press Enter at this point. So I told it to ADB install dash R and then that path. And I press the Enter key. And we have now, we're going to have this a transfer of data okay, from that package, the temp folder to the APK. And right here, we'll let it sit down here. This is going to take a little bit. It's going to transfer that information. We're going to see a success command show up right here on the left of our console window. Yay! And now I'm going to go over here and I look inside my lovely list of apps. Here I am. There is the LAX CSP and it's using the default App Inventor icon. So this is a great time to use a better icon, but I click on this app and ta-da! My colors are changing. So amazing. So I've installed that app right here. And so that's the way I can actually install the app right here. So again, the basic process, I have to go over to my App Inventor. I choose the option to build and then save the APK to my computer. And that downloads the file right here to my downloads directory. Once I have that downloaded, again, all I have to do is go to terminal. In my terminal window, I change to my commands for App Inventor folder, which is where the file is residing for ADB. I then verify the devices daemon is running, make sure it's there, my device is connected. I then call the install command, passing it a flag of dash R, making sure I install the right one. And then I tell it the uh, APK file I want it to install. It installs it successfully, and I can then access the app right here on the tablet. And this is how you can actually install an app over on a USB device, obviously plugged in right here, so it can work with any different Android tablet and have that installed. Thanks, and have a great day.